four, seven, four. Hey my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yaya and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so good to have you guys back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm taking you guys through a staple total upper body workout. The workout I've been doing all 2023, honestly, this has been such a weird year, but this workout has helped me maintain my strength throughout my whole upper body. So we're gonna hit a little, a little shoulder, a little lat, a little chest just a little bit of everything so let's get straight into the warm-up Yeah. When you're feeling warm, we're gonna get right into the workout. Our first exercise today is gonna be inverted row. This is a great exercise, especially when you aren't feeling strong, you don't have your strength there to do a pull up. This is a great exercise. If it's your first day in the gym and your goal is to get a pull up, this is one, number one exercise I would recommend for you to do. So let's set it up and get right into it. I think just below eight is my spot. So when you are doing your inverted rows, like I mentioned, if it is your first day in your gym, you can use your legs to help you up. But as you get stronger, you can straighten those legs out so that you are challenging yourself and you're building that strength to be able to do your first pull up. We're gonna do four sets of eight on the inverted row. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. That felt good. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. <laughs> but I'm crazy, so I'm gonna put some resistance for my last two sets. The resistance is optional. You don't have to put resistance. Get strong first, and then we can work on adding some resistance. Point. Fiji needs to sponsor me. Come on, y'all. You got this, girl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going into our second exercise, we're gonna do seated barbell shoulder press. I personally prefer a barbell because I feel like there's a lot more control. I am prone to injury when it comes to shoulders, so this is what works best for me. You're more than welcome to use dumbbells as well, so let's get right into the exercise. We're gonna do warm, one warm-up set and then get straight into it. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Feeling good. Going straight into it. Um, 
One, two, three, four, drop that I don't know going straight into set number two I'm nervous because I was heavier than I thought <laughs> We have lag pull down. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite back exercises. It just really targets the back, it targets the lat. So girl, if you are trying to get that snatch waist, this is the exercise for you. I personally use um, the straight bar. So whenever you're doing your lat pull down, you wanna make sure that your hands are a little bit, a little bit past shoulder width apart. And then you wanna set yourself in, lock yourself in. You wanna make sure that these pads are nice and secure which is great, especially when the weight gets heavy. And as you pull, you wanna make sure that you are putting your, your, your shoulders back. So you don't wanna just like pull the weight because you'll end up hurting yourself and you'll feel that in, in your biceps. So you wanna make sure that you retract your shoulders. So pinch your shoulder blades back together and down, and then you pull, just like that. Just like that. So we're gonna do, three sets of 12. We're really, really gonna push the weight here. So I'm gonna start at 100 pounds and see what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. Woo. Maybe twelve reps was a bad idea. <laughs> So the reason why I like using a straight bar is because whenever your grip starts giving out or you just need a better grip, you can grab these, gri these grips in your gym and you can just attach them in line to wherever you want to grab the bar. So I'm gonna do my second set using these straps and I just think it just, it feels good and it helps you focus on that lat engagement as you pull down. Now I'm scared for the second set, but let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. Oh my God. One last set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, come on y'all. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. So up next, we're gonna do some push-ups. We have three sets of eight to 10 reps. Remember in my last video when I was talking about rep range. So if I do 10 reps, that means maybe I can add a little bit more weight to push myself. So I really wanna be training to failure within the eight to 10 rep range. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think I can add some weight. That's how we grow. One, two. It's gonna be hard but can I mentally push through the hard you know like I can't just not do it one two three four seated lat raise so with these you just want to sit right at the edge of the bench have a slight lean forward especially if you're somebody like me that feels you know any shoulder exercise especially when it comes to lat raises in your traps you want to have like a slight lean forward and as you as you lift it up you just right here and you're controlling the movement and really focusing on your lateral and your anterior Belt. So we're gonna do three sets of about 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. Okay. Set number two, here we come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. Got one more set, one more set. Set number three, here we come. Come on, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, those suck, but they over. <laughs> so 
finish off the workout, we're gonna do a seated row. This is one of my favorite beginner exercises. Whether you beginner, intermediate, advanced, this is a great exercise, especially to tie up this workout we've been doing. It's gonna target the lats, the upper back, our adults as well here in the back. So let's get into it. We're gonna do two sets, no, three sets of 10 reps. You just wanna make sure that you have a slight bend as you come forward, because that allows you to pull with your lat and then as you come you want to drive back but you don't want to go too back because that's, you're going to hurt yourself so you want to make sure that you're squeezing the lat as you come up one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. That felt good. <laughs> okay, set number two. Two. Nine. Come on, yeah. Ten. Oh my gosh. Okay, last set. Let's end the workout strong. Just push through. At this point, it's just all a mental game. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're done, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you got this far, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and don't forget to give this workout a try.